Good morning, good evening and good night to you all. I hope that you are all doing okay today. So we're going to do a reading today of Is It Over? And I've gone for a more atmospheric uh, lighting for you because when I put the studio light on, you lose all the Christmas lighting. And I know you can't see it particularly well um, <laughs> on here, but I thought I would um, mute the studio light and we're going a bit of a, a more Yule time energy. So is it over between you and the person you are asking about? Now, before I get into it, I have some super exciting news for you all. Oh, super exciting news. Witches magazine. Now, this magazine is an international magazine. It's based in the UK, but it is an international magazine. And the reason, so they ship it internationally, I think you can also get digital copies. It is such a great magazine. Isn't that artwork just absolutely beautiful? But the reason why I am showing you this is because if those of you who have not seen my Instagram, there is this beautiful article that I have written. Um, and it's debuting in the winter's edition this year. So you have, it's all about the magician's alchemy and how you can use his alchemy, his magic, to bring in the best into your life. Okay, so it's like a, quite a, quite a few page article, um, three page article. Um, and it, yeah, all about his alchemy, what the magician card of tarot, what magic you can incorporate into your life using his energy. Um, so I just wanted to share that all with you. If you want to get the link, go over to Instagram. Um, and I'm, I'm, I've tagged it in like a low, well, I think I tagged it in a story. Um, and I tagged it in a post. I'm still kind of getting my head around Instagram, really. Um, but if you do want a copy, it's just witchesmagazine.com. They do digital and they do um, hardback prints. But just wanted to share that with you because that's super, super exciting. And then the other thing in the um, in the side book um, of this, so this is all your little shops and things like that. I just wanted to share with you for those of you that haven't checked it out. Is this one. The Mystical Moon Day Muses podcast. Do you recognise this girl here? It could be me. So if you haven't listened to the podcast, me and uh, Josie Vinton, who is my co-host, we put out a reading each week with the tarot and the astrology for the week ahead for you. It's available on all podcast sites. We have got a YouTube channel. Um, we also have an Instagram. We're not very active on Instagram. We're not very active on YouTube uh, for it. It is all on the Spotify's, Apple Podcasts. Um, so you can go and check it out for a free weekly reading. So that's coming up. Um, other exciting things that I've got to tell you. Yeah, made this debut and I've got another debut coming out in the spring magazine for them as well, but that's a little bit hush hush, so I'll keep you posted on that at a later date. Um, Christmas time is coming up. Bookings spaces are getting quite small now um, because Christmas is such an active time of year. Everyone wants to know what's going on in the love life over Christmas in the year or their life in general. Um, so if you do want a booking this side of Christmas, do drop me a message ASAP um, so I can get your space reserved. And I think that's it. Other things I have to tell you, got cold. <laughs> so if I start coughing and sneezing, um, just bear with me. So we're going to do Is It Over? And this is the end time of year I get to use this deck. And it's, it's a new deck that I got at the Tarot Conference. So this is the Yuletide Tarot by Christopher Hughes. And this is another deck that I actually got at the Tarot Conference, which is the Housewives Tarot. Um, and it was on the swapsy table. And I was like, I swapped it for a different deck. And I don't use it often. And I felt drawn to it. So deck number one and deck number two. And what I need you to do is think about your person. And as you're thinking about the person you're asking about, I want you to kind of push it into the deck that you are most drawn to. And that's how collective readings work, well, how I work collective readings. The messages that you need to know about your person, deck number one, deck number two, um, works on the collective energy between you all. So go into all your energy, all your people's energy, and pull out the mutual energy. And like, if you want to do private readings, you can give me a shout. So, if it's I, so the first thing that's coming up in my right ear is the song by Katy Perry, just because it's over doesn't mean it's really over. And it says on that um, in the lyrics, the spirit really drawing me to the words where she talks about um, social media. And she says, I can't even go on the internet without even searching your name. So your person is definitely kind of looking at you and obsessing over the energy with you, obsessing over the connection, watching you on social media, for sure. That is a total given. Um, and if you haven't got social media, it could be that they are just checking, you know, checking in with friends, checking in with family, see how you are doing. Hunter just piping in to say hi. So let me just pull you three cards. Let's start off with three. Is it over? Oh, one. Oh my goodness, what a lovely way to start. The towel is just flown over my floor. And oh, death. God. Okay. Right. Okay, we're going to just have to rip off the band card to band aid here. So you've got tower, you've got death, but you also got the page of pens. So there is a light at the tunnel. The light at the tunnel 
let's start off at the end shall we <laughs> and then we'll go back in time light of the tunnel is that there will be some form of communication coming in between you guys there will be a message that is sent to you possibly around the christmas period um especially with this being the yuletide tarot you might hear from the person that you're asking about over christmas um now the message that they're going to send you might be a little bit silly um it might be not what you're looking for so if you're looking for this whole love me be with me emotional energy you're probably not going to get that you'll get something more like hope you're okay um, and enjoying this festive time with your family and you might feel it's a bit of a cop out um but what i want you to take from that is the fact that they did message you that you can perhaps rebuild in a certain direction you can the door is still a little bit open um at the end and if it doesn't happen within the christmas period like we can look at your individual times and private readings but it does still seem to me that there will be a message that comes in from your person. Now, the other cards. So let's go back to the, the bad news. <laughs> Tower and death. So this situation is a it, it has come to a close at this point in time. OK, it has come to a close. You guys have probably had these big eruptions or they've just thrown you off kilt. They've just suddenly said, well, you know what? I'm not sure this is what I want anymore and took a step back from the situation. The relationship between the two of you, or they've gone ghost, the relationship between the two of you has come to a close, but it looks like there has been an event that has caused this to happen. Now, the events that I'm talking about, most of you guys will know about them. Most of you guys will have had conflict or tension or arguments. But for those of you that have just been ghosted, it looks like something has happened behind the scenes. OK, so something has happened with your person. And they've just kind of gone, oh, my God, I can't cope with this and gone ghost. For those of you that haven't gone ghost, you will know about what has happened with your person. You will know. Um, and it has come to a close. And it's probably most likely happened in the Scorpio season as well with the death card. So around October time, um, October to November. So quite a recent uh, off kilt energy coming up. And if it wasn't this October, November, it might have been the October, November before for timings. It's gone a bit crap. <laughs> it's gone a bit crap for you. So is it over? I mean, at this point in time, yeah, it has come to a close, but that message will be coming in from your person. So I'm just going to dive in a little bit more to that and just see what other cards come up. So can you tell me any more about this person messaging, their person messaging? So you've got the lovers. You guys as well, for some of you, um, you might find that your person, you'll probably know about this, that maybe they've been like playing around with third parties and things like that, but you will know about that. Um, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's because it's not aimed at you. <laughs> um, but some of you guys, you might have seen something on social media with them liking someone else's pics or, um, you know, perhaps they, they, they've already with someone. That kind of third party energy coming in could also be escapism, behaviour, alcohol, drugs, um, partying a little bit too much which is always happens this time of year anyway but potentially a third party energy coming in here as well so where is it kind of going next now what i do like on here is we have the high priestess coming in so it is really important that you guys listen to your intuition there is no black and white with this spread there is no black and white there are two sides to the story and it takes two hands to clap and if you talk to your friends about it at this point in time i do feel that they're going to go he is an asshole or she is an asshole um, I have a feeling that that is kind of what they're going to say to you um, and throw a little bit of judgments on you over the situation. So it's really important that you perhaps listen to your intuition rather than other people trying to stir the situation. And um, it's only because your loved ones love you and they want to do their best to protect you. But that is coming in. We've got the full moon um, indicating that there is light to be shed on the situation. You're expecting more information. You will get your answers over it all. You will get your answers. And with the lovers coming in, you know, it's not all hope is lost. So it is that it is at a close at this moment in time. And if you want to look at your individual circumstances about the two of you kind of can you get back together, we can do that. It looks like you can with the lovers coming up over here, but it is at this close at this point in time. Something has happened which has really thrown the energy around or, or thrown the relationship around and you're, you're not quite sure how to progress it or where to progress it or what happens next. So do listen to your intuition on that not black and white there is a gray area here more will come to light with the moon coming into this as well lovers energy for the love that the two of you share and um, i also you know with with um this kind of studying of druidry that i've done over the years I don't know how many of you know but the mistletoe was actually a fertility ceremony um and it's just a little bit 
little bit ick, but um, I believe they would go out on Christmas and they would cut down the mistletoe and they would sacrifice um, some animals for the old gods to have a fertile Christmas, you know, fit to have a fertile spring. Um, so the mistletoe is actually a symbol of fertility as well. So with that coming up with this and the love connection that's going on, there is fertile grounds for this relationship to grow, but there has got to be a lot of cleaning out things that have been going on between the two of you. There has to be open communication. Um, there are grudges being held. There are ickiness around you guys. Um, and it's a, bit, it's a bit steep. The messages will come through. But where you guys take it from that is going to depend on both of you. There will need to be a need for forgiveness. Forgetting, probably not going to happen. But there is this kind of need for forgiveness over the situation and how your person has handled it. Um, but there is this, there is a, there is a bond, you know, there is a bond there. And if you want to look at it individually, you can just give me a shout. That's step number one. What a lovely, happy Christmas reading for you all. <laughs> okay, guys, let's do, oh, two of ones are staring at me in the face. That shouldn't have happened. Okay, guys. Let's do deck number two. So if you just tapped in, tuned in and turned on to deck number two, I was showing at the start of the video um, that I have an article out in Witches Magazine. Let me just show you guys quick. Um, so it is something that you're probably not going to want to miss. It is magic to do with the magician's card. Here it is. There's my lovely name and Mr. Left Tarot. Uh, magic to do with the magician's card. It's such a beautiful, beautiful magazine. Um, anyway, that you'll love it. I've got a cold. That's the try not to sneeze. I'm going to sneeze on camera for you all. Okay, so is it over between you and your person? You can just buy it at witchesmagazine.com. They do a digital copy if you don't want to get it shipped over. Okay, is it over between those watching and the person? King of Pants. So I'm just going to start off with three. Three may be enough for us. King of Pants, Queen of Wands. Oh my goodness. What a dynamic duo the two of you are. And let's get one more. Two of Cups. Not over. It's not over. Absolutely not. So you've got this love energy coming up over here with the Two of Cups. There are real feelings. There are true emotions. There is a romantic connection. There is love. And if you, you know, some of you guys might even ask, be asking about friendship. Is it over between the friendship? The answer is no. It isn't. You're just seeing things at very different ways at this point in time. So King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. It just seems that there has been a difference of opinion happening between the two of you. And it's not helped because your person doesn't really express their emotions that much. Um, they seem to be quite focused on work at the moment with the King of Pence. They seem to be focusing on bringing in income, making money, really focusing on, on this kind of work, business whatever job they do had. Um, so you might find that they're a little bit distant with you and you're, you're going to be like, well, what's happening? It is an extremely busy time of year. You guys know it's an extremely busy time of year. Um, but with the King of Pence coming in here, this is where they are focusing their energy at the moment, focusing on work, focusing on making money. Um, and you over here with the Queen of Wands, your energy is all about the lighter side of things. It's about having fun. It's about that joy. It's about creating these passions into your reality. So the two of you at the moment, are still here, you, him, her, you, them, sorry, your person and you, two of you over here, you have this energy, but you're just not quite meeting up. But what I do like is with the two of cups in the middle, there is a very strong love between the two of you. So yeah, it isn't over. <laughs> that is the quickest reading you're going to have. It isn't over. Let me just pull some more. So what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next with these guys? Let's have a look. Next. So you have got this little bit of distance happening with the Six of Swords coming in. Um, so you guys might just go your separate ways for the time being. Um, they are floating away from the situation. Okay, so they're just kind of like, I'm just going to put it on a calming energy and, and I'm just going to just focus on myself at the moment with the King of Pence over here as well. They've just got a lot on their mind. They're very preoccupied. So they're just stepping up taking a step back from the situation they might even say that to you some of your people might say to you um i've been so busy love love that's what we say up north in england i've been so busy that i haven't had the time to kind of get in touch with you it doesn't look like it's anything you've done it doesn't look like it's anything that they've done it's just that this has just gone a little bit strained it's just got a little bit quiet for the time being um with the six of swords coming in 
the Six of Swords as well, kind of getting on the boat with the ferryman, talking about transitions. You know, there is a transition going on at this point in time. And the transition leads to a Ten of Cups, which is you and your person in this beautiful, sorry, beautiful romantic harmony. Lots of drinks kind of occurring on this time of year as well, which is great. Um, but you have this, this ending in cycle, beginning of new one with it being a 10, with the transformation over here. So your situation and relationship is transforming. You've got the drinks flowing to say, yeah, we're looking at the lighter side of things. With it being cups, this is all emotions. With it being the ten of cups, this is the romantic connection between the two of you. So it's just that it's had to have a little bit of downtime, but it's it's going to bounce back. And to be fair, like for most of you watching, you're probably still in some form of communication or it's just gone a little bit like... <laughs> strained um nothing's happened particularly with you guys um for debt number two and or not much has happened that's created this situation to go in such a negative way because it, it isn't that negative it's just gone a little bit quiet it's all quite positive because there is this love between the two of you you're just on different wavelengths at the moment so when the new year starts your energy will kind of come back together link it in spirit just did that linking your energy we do that do the dance linking your energies together linking that love connection together um it's good. It's good stuff. Um, when they do get back in touch with you, you might want to voice your opinion on them. Just to say, look, mate, I would say mate, look, mate, um, <laughs> I'm not quite sure what happened, but we don't do that. We don't do that to, uh, to, to the person that you have feelings for. You just don't act that way. And it does look like you will have the chance to voice your opinions, even though you could be a little bit annoyed at them. Um, and then it looks like you guys all just make up and have wild, wild intimacy. If that is the way you would like to do it. Um, but the two of cups, love. Love and drinks are flowing. It's good. It's good stuff. So no, it's not over. Absolutely not. Um, absolutely not. Still thriving. It's just gone quiet. It's gone a lot more quiet. That's step number two. So I'm not going to go any deeper into that because we don't need to. Um, if you want to look at private readings, like I said at the start, I am very limited now for spaces before Christmas. Uh, but if you do want to, drop me a message. Um, you can find me on Instagram, Mr. Love Tarot. Uh, respond on there. Um, also on email, uh, Mr. Love Tarot at gmail.com. Everything's on my website. Enjoy Witches Magazine, you guys. Um, go and hit follow, go hit subscribe on here. And I will catch you all next week. Next week. I love you. Bye.